Peter Armando. I work for Griffin Greenhouse Supplies. Um, we are one of the largest horticultural suppliers in the United States. Well, I'm John Farr, uh, managing partner for Green Mountain Harvest. We uh, grow produce for uh, for many stores. Uh, Whole Foods is our biggest customer. We, we're selling about 150 cases of that a week now. Uh, we weren't happy with the HPS uh, lighting results. We were getting stretchy crops. Uh, they were taking a long time to grow. Down inside here before in the wintertime, we used to get a lot of yellowing in the leaves and we'd have to harvest a lot of that off because it'd be all yellow if the light wouldn't penetrate down deep enough. Uh, even those crops that were directly under the light. What we do is we let the customer tell us issues, problems, what they need help with, and then we make suggestions back. So one of the ones that John was having, you know, he liked his lighting, but he was still having issues in the wintertime. So the, the suggestion of looking at LED lighting was brought up at that time. The reason lighting takes front and center is we want to even out the valley, the peaks and valleys. So in the summertime, we do have 12, 14 hours of light. In the wintertime, we have a lot less light. You know, John has to meet a schedule. So what we try to do is with the lighting now, we can almost time it right to days in order to make sure that his crop is ready to fill the shelves that he needs for the customer. Uh, I think the biggest benefit is, uh, well, one, the crop quality, and two, is the, the light pollution. That was huge for us. Through the Healy Spectre lights, we actually grew the business 25%. Uh, right. Same area, just different light. People are actually looking at the light not that we need to see, the actual wavelengths that a plant needs to absorb and to grow through the different things. So we use reds and far reds to flower plants. We use blues to enhance the foliage and stuff. And by mixing the combinations, we're able to grow better and higher plants. Immediately, we, we get heavier weights in the crop. So what it is is actually the leaf structure of the plant increases by almost 30%. We shorten the crop time, so he trimmed off we, we usually say three to five days. John's telling us as high as eight days. And we get a much sturdier and blockier plant off from the beginning, from seedling on, and less throwaway. We actually were able to shorten our packaging by two inches because the plants were shorter and they fit in there, which made a nicer looking package. They use our light in the seedling process and we see that even if it's within a short amount of time, four or five days, it's a better improvement on the roots, better uh, improve on, on the quality of the seedlings and the, that product. That's one of the benefits. The second benefit is obviously if you can't you know, compare LEDs, consumption in electricity with the consumption of electricity on HPS, it's a huge amount of saving on electricity, which of course is gonna be translated to the bottom line growth. Teal Spectra lighting and LED lighting on a whole has made tremendous gains in the food production area and is continuing at the moment, yes.